Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of MaxKip, which is the post-max progression series on my main account, Mudkip. In the last video, we got the Chompy Chick pet, which makes four pets on the account now. And then, of course, they had all the regular woodcutting updates and master clues, and then we also got into doing a bit of Slayer as well. And that's where we're going to pick up from today, though, so let's get into the video, and I hope you enjoy. Before we grab another task, there's something we have to unlock. So if we uh, go to the rewards here, I've never unlocked Jad tasks on this account. I've gotten two fire capes on this account ever, which is kind of funny because I've gotten eight now on my hardcore. But I got my first fire cape June of 2017, which in all my years of playing RuneScape, that's my first time ever getting a fire cape. I know I got pretty late compared to a lot of people, but it's my first ever time getting one. And then I got my second fire cape on this account when I was practicing for the hardcore, which I used to unlock the Inferno for the music track and whatnot. Uh, but other than that, I have two Jad KC on here, and I've never done it since, uh, except on the hardcore, obviously. So now we have that unlocked, and we could uh, go grab some more tasks and see if we get anything fun. Okay, so we got a Thermi task on here. I don't have the pet yet. Uh, not sure what the KC is. We'll just check after I get the first kill. But I want to try a method on here that I've never tried before. Uh, the method is using Redemption. Uh, so Thermi's max hit is an 8. With Redemption, if your health falls below 10%, which obviously I have 99 hit points, so that'd be below 9 HP, it restores, I believe it's 25% of your max prayer points rounded down. So that restores like 24 hit points, I believe it would be. Uh, so pretty much you just pray redemption, uh, wait for your health to fall below, and then you just keep on sipping prayer potions, turning your um, quick prayers back on, and doing that over and over. So we're going to try that method out. I'll see you after the first kill to check the KC. I'm not going to like bother checking it with the Slayer Helm or Ring of Wealth or whatever it is. Uh, we'll just see what it is and see how it goes. And obviously it's a method that I haven't tried on the hardcore because uh, if you mess it up, uh, you know, obviously you can't have a Ring of Life on with that. So probably not the best method to do on a hardcore but, you know, as a main account, I can die, I can trade, and uh, I'll see how this is. It seems a lot more relaxing because you don't have to bank, like, so often. Uh, I don't have D-Claws, I don't have an SGS. Uh, DDS is the next best DPS of any of the spec weapons, so we're going with that. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky and get the pet today. Okay, first kill coming in, and our KC is... 317. Dude, I've over double the KC on the hardcore. That's so funny, man. No pet on there either, by the way. But uh, 317 is what we're starting with. Okay, so I've got my Quick Prayer set to Redemption and Piety. And as soon as you see the hit points go below 10 or go below 9, uh, you'll see it go up and the prayer points go down. So uh, we're just going to do this real quick here and you'll see it happen in uh, just a couple more hits. There you go. See, prayer points drop, went up to 33 hit points, take another sip. Turn quick prayers back on, and that's all you gotta do for this method. It's uh, pretty chill. I guess we could just stand here and attack it, go through a lot more potions. Also have the imbued heart for the magic defense. I think it helps a little bit. I don't know how much it really helps that much, but um, figured I have it, might as well bring it. Can't hurt to bring it anyways. And then I got Alk runes in the rune pouch. Also, fun fact, the max cape counts as a prayer cape, and the prayer cape counts as a holy wrench in the inventory. Dude, it's actually so chill to just sit here and do nothing and just use a prayer pot and then turn quick prayers back on. Obviously, you go through a lot more prayer potions, so probably not the best method for uh, Iron Man to do. And I guess the trips won't be as long if you do this. But if you need like AFK and just chill, this could be a potential AFK boss because this is all you gotta do. I think you do make your money back from all the supplies that it drops, even without getting the uh, uniques or whatever. Okay, this is the last kill of the trip, and I've gotta say, I like this uh, prayer method. Oh, Dragon Chain Body. I gotta say, I like this redemption method a lot, and uh, very quickly before we go back for another trip, I wanna go to the GE and sell off all this loot we just got and see how much money we make, and buy a bunch of prayer potions, just to see how many prayer potions we got from that one trip of doing the uh, Thermi boss with the redemption method. Use my Nexus, by the way, left click GE. Obviously the Magic Seed and Ancient Staff aren't gonna happen too often, but uh, it's still money that we got from it. And if we go ahead and collect all this, we are left with 624k. I'd say that's a uh, fair amount of super combats and uh, prayer potions that we got from that. Okay, so we have two more charges on the whip. So rip the whip, it turned into a tentacle now. I've never seen that actually happen before. That's pretty cool to look at. Uh, hopefully we can finish this kill off with a DDS and we'll buy another whip for the tentacle. It's probably like not worth it like money-wise, but like I guess it is like worth it efficient-wise. I don't know, whatever. I like using tentacle whips. It's better DPS that way, so uh, let's go to the GE and uh, spend some of our PVM cash stack on the whip. Oh man, our PVM stack is not looking too good right now. We got 6.7 mil left, and uh, I think a whip is gonna be like 3 mil or something. Let's take a look. It's gonna cost us 3.4 mil. I bet all the new players coming in from mobile are like gang mems and like getting into the 70s now for attack and stuff, and they're buying all the whips out. Not enough people killing Abbey Demons, so they're super inflated. I don't know prices. I'm a hardcore Iron Man. I just, I, I assume that's a lot for a whip. I have no idea though. But let's combine these together now. 
And yes, it's untradeable. That's fine. We got Tentacle Whip back. And now let's put this back into Platinum Tokens. And we got a 3.3 mil stack of tokens now. It's looking a bit sad, but once you set off our uh, PVM tab here, it'll uh, perk it up a bit, we could say. And there's the last kill of the task, 444. And we get some decent loot for the PVM tab. All right, we got an elite clue scroll from Rex here. So after this task, we can uh, turn that in for a master clue and uh, we'll get a casket then. Get something good, hopefully. <laughs> I don't have a torso. Looks like we're grinding out a torso today. It won't be too bad to get. I just spent all my points to get that one diary done also. Oh, I had to get level five everything. Ah, okay. So we have to grind out a torso then. All right, there we go. There's all the points that we finally need for the fire torso. So we can now grab this uh, torso from the uh, rewards over here. Yay. Scroll down. Scroll. And pick one. There it is. Accept. And we now finally have a torso on a Yay. maxed account. Yay. Yay. And now we can uh, go finish this glue scroll. Yay. Okay, so taking a bit of a break after getting that torso, because I was not expecting to actually spend like all night getting the torso, so I'm a bit worn out from that. Stream is over. I'm Woodkai now. Uh, just for reference, today is November 22nd, 2018. It is Thanksgiving. I just finished eating. I'm stuffed. I'm just chilling, cutting redwoods, and uh, doing some stuff on the hardcore here. And oh, let's not miss it. <laughs> About to get 126 woodcutting. That is the final virtual level for woodcutting before 200 mil. 126 is the uh, end of the virtual levels. Exponentially, that's when levels like stop increasing. Uh, imagine cutting a log while I'm recording. Um, hopefully any second now, we should get that last log for the 126. And I probably won't post any more woodcutting updates until 200 mil. Maybe one when we're getting very, very close. But uh, beyond that, I mean, there's really no other reason to record woodcutting here. Uh, I am hoping to lock in third page for woodcutting, which means top 75. Uh, the current rank is rank 74. And as you can see, we are 188.88 mil uh, woodcutting XP. And I swear to God, bro, every time I try to record a clip of me woodcutting or doing like mother load or fishing or something, it always takes legit five minutes to get the last whatever it happens to be. So there it is, 126 woodcutting. We are 11.1 uh, mil XP left to go until we're done, and it'll be great. Okay, it's currently uh, November 28th, and I realized I kind of took a weird break from doing that Master Clue scroll uh, to start woodcutting. I never finished it up. I will finish it up soon, I promise. I have to get to an AFK point on the hardcore. The uh, reason why I'm showing this clip right now is because I only have to use two more Dragon Axes. So beyond this, uh, I think each Dragon Axe... I have a notepad somewhere with how much XP I've been getting per Dragon Axe. I think each Dragon Axe is like 6 or 7 mil. Uh, once I get 200 mil, I'll go over all the stats specifically. But yeah, after this time, there will only be one more time to uh, we'll ever have to do this on this account. Also, this is a really cool animation that you hardly ever get to see. So let's uh, do this right there. Boom. That was a, a very captivating animation. Okay, getting back to woodcutting, we are currently uh, 191.3 mil almost. So hoping by the end of the year, we can get 200 mil. I think it's like 300k XP per day I have to average, which is definitely doable for me. Okay, so we are finally continuing this master clue scroll. We've got the torso. I know I have like max stats and stuff and we're just getting the torso now. But to be fair, as a main account, you don't really need it because you got the freaking, um, the Bando's chest plate. But yeah, let's show this to Fallow. And we're finally going to continue on this clue scroll. How many steps in were we? I don't even remember. Uh, okay, we were, oh, four steps in. So we're almost done with it now. Cool. Okay, casket. Yes, it's the master clue casket. Let's go to the bank first and uh, deposit all this stuff in the inventory. Okay, here we go. 450k. It's decent. Pretty pretty typical. Yoink my casket now. Wait, I gotta take the trousers off. <laughs> Master casket, let's do it. Got Boots of Darkness, about 600k clue. Pretty decent. Pretty decent for a master. Not bad. November 30th is the date today. We are 192 mil woodcutting XP, but I want to take a break from woodcutting right now because uh, right now I am currently uh, runecrafting. I'm still on this grind here. It's a very long grind. Uh, but I decided I want to go for a pet, and this one's kind of like one of the faster pets to get, I think. I want to go for the pet Chaos Elemental. Um, so it's a 1 out of 300 from the Chaos Elemental or a 1 out of 1,000 from the Chaos Fanatic. And if we take a look at the boss log here on the uh, Ring of Wealth, if we go down here, our current KC is one kill of the Chaos Elemental, which I did a long time ago for the Diary, and then seven kills of Chaos Fanatic. For some reason, I have no clue why. 
Uh, but yeah, that's the pet I want to go for. I don't like saying I'm going for a pet because when you talk about getting a pet, it makes you way less likely to actually get one. So we're just going to go there and have a good time and see what happens. Okay, so right now I'm figuring out what I want to wear there. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to switch spellbooks over to the um, Lunar Spellbook so that way I can do NPC Contact. Uh, I'm going to contact the uh, Barbarian guy, yeah, Barbarian Guard, to stop the auto smashing because one of the effects of the Cast Elemental is that it'll automatically unequip stuff in your inventory. Uh, so you want to have like a full inventory of like stuff. So I'm going to want my inventory to be filled with vials. I'm probably going to bring like stews or summer pies or something so that way there's still the empty pie dishes or the empty bowls or whatever in my inventory so that way um, they won't unequip my stuff. And yeah, this way the vials will still be in the inventory and not like auto smash and leave an empty spot there. I think I'm going to go with a mythical cape over the arty cloak for the plus one strength bonus and then rock climbing boots. I guess I could use like rune boots or something but I'd rather not risk that much money. I expect I'll die quite a few times. And I am doing like the more AFK method that's way slower because I am, like I said, you know, doing room crafting on the other account. So with the Lumbee Elite Diary done, you get a 20% discount on the items in the Culinary Rancher's chest. So room gloves only cost 5.2k. Let's buy an inventory of those. Uh, do they go up in price? Okay, they go up a bit in price when it's a uh, lower stock, but whatever. We got uh, a bunch of these now set for the future instead of using the Black Van Braces. I probably don't really even need the stew since we are safe spotting, so it's probably not a big deal. I guess it can't hurt to have it. Uh, and then one more thing before we actually go out there is I have an elite clue scroll, so I'm going to turn that into Watson for later uh, to save up for a master clue because there's a 1 out of 200 chance of getting an elite clue scroll from uh, Chaos Elemental, so maybe we'll get one. And yeah, this is the setup I'll be going with. Here's my gear. It's like very, very budget, and we'll probably like change stuff up with the inventory and with the gear as we go and just see how this goes. Uh, and as for the inventory, I have brews in case of peak hairs. Like if I get the pet and then their peak hair shows up right away, I'll want to like run away and be safe and make sure nothing bad happens. Uh, super combat to increase the stats. Uh, I guess it's all pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, that's what I got. And uh, the reason why I have the Bandos God Sword is because when you safe spot it, you want like a really slow and high dealing damage weapon because you have to wait until the health bar goes away. So it'll be standing there for a while like waiting. So it doesn't really matter how slow the weapon is. You just want to be able to do a lot of damage. And then the risk we have going here is, oh my God, <laughs> 69K is the risk. It's really not a big deal if we die even like a dozen times. I've never seen this before. Someone like actually lost their username or some shit. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> There it is, kill number two, and I think I'm gonna bring um, Summer Pies next time to restore run energy because it's kind of annoying uh, doing it this way. So maybe I'll just switch up the food I'm bringing to. Great first drop though, or I guess second drop. I think I have all these uh, Summer Pies from a long time ago doing Serb, so we're gonna use these for today. And maybe I'll bring like half and half, half stews, half Summer Pies to make them last longer. All right, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Cast Ellie, don't spawn. Please don't spawn Cast Ellie, that would not be a good time for it. No freeze, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it! <gasps> the dream! <laughs> oh man. Like, I'm not even risking that much either, I don't even care, it's just fun to make it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Funny. Uh, Another one. Learn to anti-PK. Learn to PK. Oh man, all top worlds. All right, let's pray, mage. Let's put on that thing. <laughs> Poor guy. Hey, Giraffe, thanks for the Twitch Prime, man. Appreciate that. Yo, thank you. Can we get the muddy H's in the chat? Thank you, dude. Yoink. My lever now. Good fight. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, for some reason the audio didn't record here, but that is 50 kills at the Chaos Alley. Okay, so the audio didn't record for the last clip, but I was just recording the uh, 50th kill of the Chaos Elemental. Unfortunately, we did not get the pet, which you can't ever really expect to get it. Um, but yeah, 50 out of 300 to meet the drop rate. No pet. But uh, that's enough for today. It's been like a six hour stream of doing Chaos Elemental. I know using a BGS, not like a crossbow or something or whatever, is not the most efficient method. But like I said, I was trying to AFK on the hardcore. I've been doing room crafting this whole time. And I'm just kind of like AFK and like, it's not the most AFK thing. It's like semi AFK. So I was trying to mostly focus on that while AFKing on this account. 
Uh, but yeah, no pet today. Maybe in the future we'll go back to it and maybe get some point in the future. I've been having a lot of fun playing this account and there are going to be more frequent videos on this account in the near future because the progress on the hardcore is slowing down. And if you are enjoying the videos and you want to know right when they get posted, then please consider subscribing to the channel because it really does help a lot. That is going to wrap it up for today though. The next video should be a hardcore Iron Man video, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.